Are you tired of feeling like you're always chasing after the next paycheck? Today, we're exploring a concept that's foundational for financial success, living below your means. In a world where consumerism is at an all-time high and social media often showcases lifestyles of excess, it can be challenging to resist the urge to spend beyond our capabilities. However, Mastering the art of living below your means is crucial for building a secure financial future. Welcome to Empower and Thrive. Living below your means isn't about depriving yourself or living a life of scarcity. Instead, it's about making conscious choices that align with your financial goals. By spending less than you earn, you create a buffer that allows you to save for emergencies, invest in your future, and enjoy financial freedom. This approach reduces financial stress and helps you avoid the pitfalls of debt, which can quickly spiral out of control. Let me share a story about a co-worker to illustrate this. A few years ago, I worked with a woman who was constantly stressed about money. Despite earning a decent salary, she had no savings and was living paycheck to paycheck. She was always splurging on dining out, weekend getaways to Las Vegas, and made a lot of impulse purchases. One day, her car broke down on her way to work. The car repair bill hit her hard, and she realized she didn't have enough savings to cover it and had to ask her parents for money. That was her wake-up call. She decided to change her spending habits and start saving. She created a budget, cut back on unnecessary expenses, and started saving a portion of her income each month. Within a year, she not only had a comfortable emergency fund, but also opened her first investment account. Consider this, when you live below your means, you're not just saving money, you're also gaining peace of mind. You're able to handle unexpected expenses without panicking, and you can take advantage of opportunities, such as investing in stocks or real estate, that can significantly grow your wealth over time. Plus, you're setting a positive example for those around you, showing that financial discipline is achievable and beneficial. Another example comes from a friend of mine who I have known since I was a kid. He used to live a very lavish lifestyle. He had a tendency to always buy the latest gadgets, always dining out and having drinks with friends, and splurged on his car a lot. However, when he lost his job a few years ago, he found himself drowning in debt. He decided to downsize his lifestyle significantly, selling his second car, moving to a cheaper apartment, and cutting out non-essential spending. This shift allowed him to rebuild his savings and, eventually in a few years, he was able to start his own business. Today, he lives comfortably within his means and stays focused on his finances. To start living below your means, begin by creating a realistic budget that accounts for your income and expenses. Identify areas where you can cut back, whether it's dining out less, canceling subscriptions you rarely use, or choosing more affordable alternatives. Prioritize needs over wants and focus on long-term benefits rather than short-term gratification. Remember, it's not about making drastic changes overnight but taking small, manageable steps toward a more sustainable lifestyle. Embrace frugality as a path to freedom rather than a restriction. The goal is to create a life where you're in control of your finances, not the other way around. By doing so, you'll be well on your way to achieving financial stability and peace of mind. Thank you for joining us on Empower and Thrive. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights on how to take control of your financial future. Until next time, keep thriving.